It may be called Tree of Heaven, but don't be fooled by the name. This invasive plant is far from heavenly. Tree of Heaven grows fast, and its windblown seeds can rapidly colonize lots of different habitats. While it's especially common in urban areas, it can also be a big problem in woodlands. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the invasive plant Tree of Heaven, what it is, how to identify it, and what you can do to manage it. Tree of Heaven can grow into a very large tree, up to 80 feet tall, but more frequently you'll see kind of dense thickets of smaller trees and seedlings. This is because it grows clonally, so those roots are sending out suckers that will then grow into trees themselves, all connected through that root system. It has smooth green bark when it's young that matures into a grayish color when it gets older. Tree of Heaven has very long, one to four feet long pinnately compound leaves. These will have many, many leaflets on each leaf, 10 to 24. Each of those leaflets is spear shaped and you might think it's an, a leaf by itself, um, but it's actually part of that larger compound leaf. Those leaves have smooth margins, but they do have a little lobe at the base with a dot or gland on the underside that is pretty distinctive for Tree of Heaven. Leaves are going to be a kind of a reddish color when they first emerge and then as they grow they will turn a more dark green on top and a light green on the underside. Crushed leaves and shoots and stems smell really bad. They smell like kind of burnt acidy peanut butter in my opinion. Shoots are covered with tiny white dots when they first emerge, these lenticels, and those leaf scars have a triangular shape. Tree of Heaven produces clusters of yellow green flowers in the summer that then mature to pink, maybe even slightly reddish or yellow green seed pods later in the summer. Um, these are gonna be kind of twisty, um, but as they age, they're going to become more papery and um, brown, and those will be retained on the trees through the winter. Tree of Heaven is widespread in the U.S. and it thrives in a range of different habitats. It can grow in really poor soils where other things might not as well, places like degraded urban sites and reclaimed mining sites. In Kentucky's woodlands, the biggest threat posed by Tree of Heaven occurs just after a harvest when if those seeds blow in, if you have Tree of Heaven in the area and it establishes, it can prevent the native species that you want to see uh, growing and thriving and becoming that next generation of your forest from establishing. And instead you just get a sea of Tree of Heaven. While Tree of Heaven prefers full sun areas, it can also invade those more closed woodlands, waiting for the right disturbance to come up so it can take off. Tree of Heaven is a rapidly growing early colonizer that can outcompete the native species you want to be seeing. This is especially true on those poor quality sites. In addition, Tree of Heaven's roots are thought to exude chemicals that actually inhibit the growth of other plants. Because Tree of Heaven can grow so thickly and it can also become a dominant tree species growing into the overstory, it's a major concern on woodlands, especially those that have been commercially harvested. Sustainable management of Tree of Heaven requires scouting for seedlings on your property and your neighbors. Because if you do have a disturbance and you have a seed source in the area, those seeds can arrive and take over. In most woodlands, Tree of Heaven occurs as a few sprouts, maybe a small thicket um, to start with. So when you see that, that's a really good time to manage it before it gets bigger, before it spreads. Those very small seedlings could be pulled out by hand, but because Tree of Heavens has such an extensive root system, you really need to make sure to kill the entire root system, um, either pulling it up or using a systemic herbicide. Otherwise, it's gonna just sprout right back up. When controlling Tree of Heaven with herbicides, there are typically three techniques that are used. First, a foliar spray for those smaller trees, those seedlings, where you can easily reach all of the foliage. Um, second, maybe a cut stump on those smaller trees where you can cut them down and apply herbicide to that cut stump directly so that then it's absorbed by that root system. It kills that tree as well as any other trees that are connected to it. 
um, any of those other shoots that are coming up. And then for those larger trees, a hack and squirt, where you hack into the tree and then you squirt herbicide into that wound so that the tree absorbs it that way. Basil bark herbicide application is another great option for those smaller trees that still have thin bark. After that initial management, follow-up is going to be needed to first make sure that all of those trees were killed and they're not sprouting back up by the root system, but also to make sure that new seeds aren't sprouting up from the seed bank. Make a habit of checking your woods, especially after disturbance, to determine if you have Tree of Heaven or any other invasives and if any follow-up treatment is needed from your past management. Thank you for joining me today and learning more about the invasive plant Tree of Heaven. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to check us out on social media and follow us online. Thank you for fighting invasive plants and doing your part to make our woodlands healthy.